Good day, everyone. Uh, it's Daniel Mwape again, Partners in Food Solution Program Manager for Zambia. I'm here again to give an update on the COVID-19 situation in Zambia. Uh, currently, we stand at 48 confirmed cases of COVID-19 with two records of death. And uh, we are now into three weeks of uh, partial lockdown as a nation. Um, and in an effort to uh, ensure smooth flow of essential goods and services during uh, this crucial time, uh, Zambia and South Africa uh, have formed um, a private sector working group where they discuss the necessity of ensuring that South African uh, chain stores operating in Zambia open their doors wider to local producers and suppliers to ensure business continuity during uh, the COVID-19 period and beyond. It has really been very difficult for a number of processors to actually enter um, the foreign-owned foreign, foreign -owned chain stores. But with an opportunity like this one, uh, it will be easy for processors to actually penetrate the foreign-owned chain stores, which will give them uh, a much wider market base uh, because most of them only access the informal markets and open markets. But uh, with this initiative, they will be able to, um, to actually penetrate um, a well-distributed um, network of markets. Uh, and especially in a situation of the COVID-19, we may actually see maybe uh, markets being shut, but chain stores may actually operate because of uh, the best practices that they've put in place. So with this, it will give our client a good opportunity to still have their products uh, being sold on the market and business going. In an effort to ensure that there is no delay in the importation of goods by processors, some processors have actually engaged in a relay kind of uh, activity with the trucks that are actually coming into the country. For example, you will have a truck coming from South Africa with a South African driver. And when it reaches the Zambian border, the Zambian driver, who is also part of the same transporter company, will pick up that like a relay and take that to the client's facility where it's supposed to actually be delivered and take the truck back once they have done the offloading so that uh, the South African driver can take it up and uh, go back to where they, they, they collected the, the products from. And as partners in food solutions, we have continued to support our clients according to their needs and we'll uh, reach out for more support as we look out for what matters most for them at this time. Um, so very, very much grateful for your support and all you do. Thank you and stay safe.